Could you give us a glimpse into what other sort of new technology CNTL is looking into and how big of a game changer could this be for the energy transition globally? Yeah, thank you for the question. Last year, we invest almost 20 billion RMB in the R&D only for the battery. That's why we come out a lot of uh, different products to the market. And uh, you just mentioned about the 6C charge, we call the Sensing Plus. This battery can be uh, easily charged in 10 minutes for the 600 kilometers range. And with the LLP system, we can make a 1,000 kilometers range. For the other aspect of the technology development, usually is focused on the higher energy density one. We're talking about a condensed battery, which can reach to 500 watt hour per kilogram. We are focusing on the aviation. And the 4.0 tons plants can take off now. So for me, it's uh, not only the air, and also we go into this, uh, we call the, the vessels, right? Mm -hmm. So land, uh, passenger cars, and uh, also the, we call the trucks, easy to be replaced with the battery storage, with the green energy, mm -hmm. the whole closed loop. So mm -hmm. we are uh, putting more efforts on this. And uh, another thing is, is a new system, other than the lithium, we call the sodium battery, and uh, it's a very good progress now. If we use the technology latest level from 1 to 10, our sodium battery of second generation already up to 7. So maybe next year or some days we will announce a new system called a new generation of sodium battery, which will more help not only on the, on the cost, but also on the low temperature performance.